Hello boys and girls, Miss Holloway here. This is 11-4 triangles, vocabulary introduction. So we can classify triangles by the length of their sides and by the types of their angles. And depending on the length of their sides and the type of angles they have depends on the name of the, tri of the triangle. So we're gonna start with one called equilateral triangle. So you may have heard of equilateral or at least the word equal and that's exactly what that means. The sides are equal. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all sides are the same length. And that would look something like this. Now we can show that all the sides are the same length by putting a little tick mark on each side just to show that they are supposed to be the same length. The second one is called an isosceles triangle. This type of triangle has at least two sides that are the same length. So for example, it might look more kind of like a tall triangle where these two sides are the same length and this one at the bottom is not the same length. That's called isosceles. And the last one is called a scalene triangle. This type of triangle doesn't have any sides that are the same length. So it might look something like this. And you would use one tick mark, two tick marks, and then three tick marks to show that they're all different lengths. And that's a scalene triangle. So if you watched the, the song, the triangle song, that goes along with these lessons for triangles, we say an equilateral triangle has three congruent sides, and congruent just means the same, okay? Same length. So equilateral triangle, three congruent sides. This is an isosceles, and let me show you how to spell isosceles because this is a good way to remember how to tell an isosceles triangle from another one. See how it has two S's right here? We're gonna ignore that one right there. But we say isosceles, like we're drawing the letter S. It has two congruent sides because it has two S's. So isosceles triangle, two congruent sides. Two sides are the same. And then this last one is the scalene triangle. And we say scalene, scalene triangle, no congruent sides, because it's like a scale. It's unbalanced. It's not gonna balance and have the same length of sides. They're all gonna be unbalanced. So we say scalene, scalene, triangle, no congruent sides. Put these here. Okay, equilateral. Remember that equal sides, equilateral, three congruent side, isosceles two congruent sides, and scalene, like a scale, scalene, scalene, triangle, three, or sorry, zero, no congruent sides. All right, another way you can name triangles is by their types of angles, by the angles that are in the triangle. So we're gonna start off with a right triangle. A right triangle has a right angle. So when we draw these triangles, we might want to start off with drawing a right angle and then connecting. So if it has a right angle, then it is a right triangle. The next one is an acute triangle, just like an acute little angle. It's a triangle in which all three sides are acute angles. It looks very similar to an equilateral triangle. All of the angles make acute angles. And the last one, obtuse triangle. And this is a triangle in which one angle is an obtuse angle. 
So to draw these, I like to draw an obtuse angle first and then connect. And there's your obtuse angle. Right there, and that makes it an obtuse triangle. So even though it does have two acute angles, as long as it has one obtuse angle, then it's considered an obtuse triangle. An acute triangle, all three angles are acute. The right triangle, yes, it does have acute angles, but as long as it has one right angle, then it is considered a right triangle, okay? So let's review. Equilateral triangle, three congruent sides. Isosceles triangle, two congruent sides. Scalene, scalene triangle, no congruent sides. Then we have our right triangle with a right angle, an acute triangle with three acute angles, an obtuse triangle with at least one obtuse angle.